What's up, Christ United Kids? Are you ready? Let's practice our Bible verse for this week. Here we go. 2 Corinthians 5, 20. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God making his appeal through us. All right, how'd you do? So we are learning that God has called all of us to be his ambassador, to be his representative, and to tell others about him and about his son, Jesus. So all week long, we've been learning truths that we need to share with people when we are sharing about God. So truth number one, who knows it? That's right. We were all created to love God and to love others. Awesome. And we acknowledge that. We tell God we love you and we want to love others. Yesterday we learned truth number two. Truth number two is we have all sinned. Every single one of us has sinned against God and against others. And we have to confess. We have to tell God that we are sorry. We have to confess and tell him that we know that we have sinned and that we have hurt others and that we are sorry. So that's what confess means, okay? So we need to say it. And then when we do, we learned in 1 John, he forgives us. So truth number three, truth number three is that God gave his son Jesus so that we can be forgiven. God gave us Jesus so that we can be forgiven. And guess what? We already know that verse. Remember Romans 5, 8? But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. What is it? What's the rest? You got it. You got it. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Awesome job. If you've got your Bibles out, and I hope you do, I want you to go ahead and turn to Acts, the book of Acts 319, okay? So remember, truth number one, God created us to love him and to love others. Truth number two, we have all sinned against God and against others. Truth number three, most important thing, one of the most important things, God gave his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven. And we know Romans 5, 8, we're writing it on our heart so that we don't forget it. All right, but also look at Acts um, 3, verse 19. Acts 3, 19 says, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come to the, from the Lord. Repent and turn to God. So our response to God giving his son Jesus is that we repent that we turn away from a sin and we accept the sacrifice of Jesus, all right? That we accept him, that we ask him into our hearts, that we ask him to make him our savior, that we ask him to wipe our sin out and forgive us, all right? So let's review one more time. Truth number one, we were all created to love God and love others. Truth number two, we have all what sinned against God and against others. But truth number three is that God gave us Jesus so that we can be forgiven. All right. So let's pray and thank God for Jesus right now. Dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord, I repent from my sin. I turn away from it. God, thank you for forgiving me and help me to be more like you. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow for truth number four. See you then.